when we continually lie to people, we start to lose credibility. If you saw my most recent channel update, you know that my life has been hell <laughs> this last year. Um, I mean, I guess now it's a new year, so cheers. And one of the biggest lessons that I feel like I've had to, I don't know, almost been forced to work on is how bad I am at being honest. And it wasn't something I was super aware of until my life just got so incredibly overwhelmed that I started to feel really angry and frustrated and upset all the time. And I started to realize that so much of my energy was generally spent shoving a lot of honesty down. But having two kids, I mean, having a baby just in general, just kind of gives you this like zero tolerance for bullshit. And it forced me to be a lot more honest with myself and everyone in my life. And I want to tell you guys about it. Honesty is so painful for me, I've noticed. And, and here's the thing. I didn't think I was a super dishonest person. But I didn't realize how much stuff I was shoving down until I didn't have the energy to shove it down anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, I grew up in a household where honesty was punished and it really messed me up. I think Mormonism played a part in that, but I think it was actually more the dynamic in my family household that was going on. My mother really struggled to deal with her emotions and she struggled to take responsibility for her actions, for her feelings, for her mistakes. And that left me feeling like everything was my fault somehow. And it left me feeling really guilty whenever she was really upset. And it also made me feel like I couldn't ever be honest with people because they wouldn't handle it well. Or they would be mad at me or they would punish me or whatever. Obviously, I don't live with my mother anymore but that dynamic has been really difficult to shake. And I find myself really, really afraid of confrontation because of the way that I grew up. And it causes me to feel really afraid to be honest with people. And it is hell. It is hell when you're living and you're exhausted and you can't be honest with people. Hello, son. I didn't realize how Deeply, this problem stemmed until I started reading Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life. If you haven't read that book, it's absolutely amazing. I'm not like a sponsor for him or anything like that, but I love the book because leaving Mormonism made me feel like I didn't have a framework to view the world and I didn't have principles that I felt really um, strongly about. And I love the book because so many of his rules are very like simple, and like they're easy to kind of build your world around. Like one of the rules is um, to make friends with people who want the best for you. One of the rules is to be honest or at least do not lie. And that chapter has been wrecking me. <laughs> Actually, both of those chapters have been really hard for me. They're interconnected in a lot of ways. In reading that chapter and also in just being super overwhelmed, I started looking more at my life and realizing how much I was lying. And it kind of made me sick. Let me give you guys an example of how difficult honesty is for me. A few months ago, I was getting a haircut and um, there was like two stylists next to me. Like one was cutting my hair and the other was like her coworker and they were just chatting. And one of them was showing the other one pictures of like past haircuts she's done on herself and colors and all that. And she keeps flipping the phone over like, look at, you know, when I did this kind of haircut, look at when I did this one, look at when I did this. And, and my stylist is like telling her like, oh yeah, I like that, I like that. And then one comes up and she's like, oh, I do not like that hairdo on you. And I was just like, you should not have said that. <laughs> and 
And and then the other gal was just like, oh yeah, you know, it was it wasn't my best, and she just keeps going. It didn't bother her, right? It was, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I am so messed up. Like, I don't even think it's right to be honest with someone if you don't like their hair. Which I I know that like, okay, it's like, it could be rude, right? It could be rude to be like, your hair is ugly, or I don't like that, or I like your hair better in this other way. But when we continually lie to people, we start to lose credibility. I love the friends in my life that I have that are just super bluntly honest because I know they're always going to be real with me and they're never gonna play games with me. They're never gonna say, yeah, I wanna do that thing with you, but actually be like seething underneath because they really don't wanna do that thing. You know, and if I ask them about my hair and they, I know they're gonna be honest with me if they like it or not, there is so much value in honesty and so much credibility when you can can get yourself to be honest. But I am bad at it, guys, and I'm trying to be better. I'm definitely way better than I was, like, especially when I had just moved out of my parents' house. But it's so deeply ingrained in me to worry so much about other people's feelings and not hurting other people's feelings. And that is a very difficult thing to shake. So I've been looking at myself, I've been watching myself, I've been watching what I say and what I do and have been trying to pay attention to how much I lie. And when I when I say lie, like I, I'll, like it could be an example of like someone um, is like staying with us and they're like, oh, hey, can I eat these berries or something? And I'm like, I really don't want them to eat those berries. I wanted to eat those. But then I'd just be like, yeah, sure, it's not a big deal, you know? It could be little things like that. It could be like people inviting me to stuff that maybe I don't really want to do, but I like feel like I have to, like feeling obligated to things. Um, it could be people asking for favors and feeling like um, I'm obligated instead of feeling like I have a choice. It could be just feeling like there's things that are bothering me that someone said that I just don't tell them that it bothered me and and the damage that happens when we're dishonest is that it creates disconnection and resentment and it's very difficult because when you're upset with someone whether you're going to be honest about being upset with them or not you're going to start to withdraw from that person you're going to start to not want to be around that person anymore or spend less time with them or be less loving because you're upset and you're not dealing with it. And it's hard and I've seen that. I've seen that in my marriage, I've seen that with my friendships, I've seen that with my siblings, and it sucks. But this still doesn't make being honest easy because I just have so much guilt. It's this over-responsibility, right? It's this over-responsibility for other people's emotions. And I think another aspect that comes into play is that sometimes I think I'm upset about something that isn't worth being upset about. So like um, like for the berry example, like if one of my friends was like, didn't ask and was eating my berries or whatever and it bothered me, I'd be like, this shouldn't bother me. I can go to the store and buy more berries or whatever and be like, ah, but it does bother me and I'll fight with myself. I'll be like, if it's not something I should be upset about, then I will try to bury that because I'll feel like, oh, I'm the problem. It's not this person eating my food without permission because it's just berries, it's not a big deal. Like, so I kind of fight with myself, one, because I don't want to feel guilty. I don't want to create confrontation. I don't want to talk about difficult things. And I worry about how people will handle it when I bring things up. And two, it's like, I will often tell myself, no, you shouldn't feel upset, so you just need to let it go, right? And so I, I make it very treacherous in my mind to try to be honest. Oh. So in the last 10 months, I have been just so stripped bare. And I feel like I've been really stripped bare because uh, my sister being sick and living with us, my my son being a, a baby, being a son, and um, 
this conglomerate mess has just stripped me bare and it's forced me to realize that I don't have spare energy for resentment right now. I don't have spare energy for guilt right now. And so I'm trying really hard to be more honest. And it's hard because you have to trust other people when you are honest. You have to trust that they're gonna listen to you. You have to trust that they're not going to abandon you or reject you for your honesty. But then you also have to realize that like being honesty does, the being honesty. Being honest comes with a price. And that price is some people will not want to be your friend. Some people will not like what you have to say. Some people will be really upset with you. And that is the, the price of honesty. And it's hard because I don't like that price. But I want to talk about the benefit of honesty. So far, what I've noticed with the benefit of honesty is that when you are honest with people, your words matter more. When you are honest and people can trust you to be honest, they take what you say seriously and they trust you to tell them things like they really are. And that's an incredible bond to have with someone when they can really trust you and you can really trust them that they will not take your, your advice or your opinion personally. It's that, that's a beautiful thing. I want more of that in my life. I want my words to mean something. I want them to matter. I want them to be powerful. And I want to trust myself that I can say what I need to say. Another benefit of being honest with people is that what I've seen is when you're honest with people who are like mentally well and healthy and, and can handle it, you can actually create way better connection with those people. When you're honest, those conversations suck and they are difficult and it's hard because you don't want to upset people or that's how I feel anyway. But then what comes after the honesty is maybe that person changes. Like maybe they stop doing that thing that was bothering you or maybe you feel more free because you feel like you can say no to certain favors that you didn't actually really want to do or that you feel too overwhelmed to do. It can actually bring you closer together and it can let that person know that it's safe for them to be honest with you. And then you can start to love each other more, respect each other more, be closer together because you guys aren't stepping on each other's toes and playing this mental match of like maybe being passive aggressive and like stuff like that. That is just so childish when you get down to it. Like passive aggression n is never the right answer. Like, just be honest. I'm saying that to myself right now, guys. I think one other benefit I'll mention that I've noticed as I've chosen to be more honest is that I feel much less overwhelmed. I feel like there's this voice inside of me that is telling me what I need and what I can say yes to and what I can say no to. And I feel like I'm trying really hard to listen to that voice and it's difficult because that voice battles with the guilt that I feel. And I feel so much less overwhelmed the more I listen to that kind of like internal, um, you know, I guess ex-Mormon Holy Ghost, I don't know, conscience or, I, I think it's just kind of like this inner knowing, I guess, like of, building that trust with myself, like just listening, right? Listening to myself, listening to what I need and what I want and trying to get those things met and trying to do it in healthy ways. Anyway, so when I'm more honest, I'm much less overwhelmed. I take much better care of myself and then I feel like I can actually do nice things because I want to and not because I feel guilty or feel like I have to or feel like, I don't know, boxed in, you know. When I was reading the chapter from Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life book about honesty, one thing that really stood out to me was he just talked about how the human body and mind can deal with a lot of really tragic and really, really difficult situations. But what the human mind and body cannot endure is deception. Deception will destroy you. 
And that stood out to me so much. And I started to think about it and I started to think like, you know, lie detector tests, like lie detector tests exist. And the reason they exist is because our body reacts when we lie. Our body doesn't like lying. It releases stress hormones. It causes our, our pulse to speed up. It causes us to sweat. It causes us to do things like that. And it's crazy. It's crazy when you think about how not only is lying difficult mentally, but it's also difficult like on your physical body. I don't know, it just blows my freaking mind, guys. So since this is the new year, I'm trying to pick like a personal focus for the year for me. I think I really want that personal focus to be honesty. Trying to be honest with myself, trying to be honest with other people, with my friendships, with my, my husband, with my relationships, with my kids, and trying to let go of the guilt that tells me I shouldn't be. A couple questions that you might ask yourself or maybe comment down below about is how often do I lie, right? And lying as in hiding the truth as well. Um, and why do I do it? Because there is a, we're doing it for a reason, right? And if we can learn what that reason is, maybe we can make some improvements in our life. Trying to be honest with people, trying to be more honest in these last like six, months, year in my life has been very, very difficult, but it's been very good, painful growth for me. And uh, yeah, so cheers to the new year, trying to be honest. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks for anyone who's sticking around for the videos where I don't necessarily exclusively talk about ex-Mormon stuff. I am proud of myself that I don't just want to talk about that anymore. I think it's a sign that I am moving on and I want to encourage that in myself and not try to stifle that growth. Um, so we'll see what happens. Forgive me as I probably won't be posting as often as I was last year, but you know, that is the honesty of the situation. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters who we could not do this channel without. Peace.